What's up, guys? Welcome back to Cardboard Cane. It is another Pokemon Friday here in Australia, and we have something relatively special. It's the Charizard EX Super Premium Collection. Now, I'm not in the uh, I love Charizard um, group. Um, I think it's one of the most overrated Pokemon uh, <laughs> in the entire Pokeverse. But we do have our Charizard fans out there, and I do have to give it to the Pokemon Company. They've made a product that it looks almost too nice to open it feels like a shame to actually open it and that's not something that i usually say because i like what's there inside the box right so if it's in the box take it out you're going to have fun with it yada 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 but this does look really nice i can see these being sealed by a lot of people for a long time to come but for us we are going to be unboxing it um because Obviously, I'm a Master Set Hunter, and I like to get all the variants, so if you are a Master Set Hunter, you'll need this box to fill out your 151 binder. That being said, let's get right into the box. I'm going to be doing it overhead this time. Alright, now I did say that I would start to get, like, little pieces of equipment everywhere that will pretty much make these a little bit more easier to make and a lot more better, because usually we get this, like, super-duper close-up version of it, we can't see anything, so... Ta-da! Technology. So... As you can see, box looks really nice across the board. On this side, you're going to have your Charmander. On this side, you're going to have your Charmeleon. So they're your 151 variants. We'll have a closer look once we actually like rip out what's everything inside the box. But the main hero of this box, obviously, is the Charizard statue sitting within, along with a Charizard EX promo. So, getting into this, and like I said, it almost feels too nice to open. <sighs> it feels bad already, like already kind of, oh, it actually, I don't usually have unboxer remorse when I rip these kind of things open, but this one feels nice, especially compared to that premium collection one. Yeah, so, alright, so, it feels, okay, wow, it's opening up just like that. So what we're going to do is, we have a white box of not okay that's just packing so that can go away and then we have our main hero let's just move this to the side we have our main hero the charizard right here probably get like a bit of a closer there like that decent size pretty cool looks like a gigantic amiibo at this point so let's just put this aside we'll look at the card close up shortly and take this boy out this is the whole point we're gonna throw that away because as i said <laughs> we unbox stuff on this channel. It does look pretty nice, honestly. It, it honestly just looks like a gigantic amiibo, which is kind of cool. But we'll have also like another closer look at, at the hand cam part. And then we also have two other... Jeez, you actually get quite a few packs in here. So we have... Let's do it in order. We have the Charmander packet here. With five packs, so it looks like uh, Stellar Crown, uh, Twilight Masquerade. It looks like a looks like we're kind of getting one of every single pack in here, besides Paldea and like Base, by the looks of it. And then obviously over the Charmeleon, and I think that's just kind of mirrored in terms of the actual packets. So that being said, we're gonna bring this down, and obviously yes, the Charizard promo as well. We're gonna bring this down to a hand cam level. And have a nice closer look and start to really get into this whole thing. Okay, so we are in the close-up version now, so we get a little bit more of a look at the Charizard. It does look really nice. It actually is finished pretty nice. I don't know what I expected really when I, when I saw this now. I thought, like, oh, it would probably be like kind of like, you know, cheaply made. But it really, 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 really does look like a gigantic amiibo. So it would be kind of cool to kind of have, especially for those Charizard fans out there. It's not too bad. I mean, it's Charizard, and it's pretty cool. It, it's I can't I can't say anything other than it's pretty cool, despite being overrated. I'm sorry, it just is what it is. All right, so let's check this big boy just over here. We'll keep him in frame. I mean, it's it's, it's Charizard's day today. It's Charizard's day today. So as we mentioned earlier, we have the Charizard promo. So this is an SVP promo. If you are looking to master set this set. Or, or rather, 
if you keep a master set by the four promos specifically for the promos of SVP, you're going to obviously need this. Um, I believe this is like a promo reprint of the 151 Charizard. So let's just chuck this over there. Charizard got knocked by Charizard. This is your Charmander. I believe it's. I don't. I think it's Cosmos Hollow by the looks of it. I believe. Um, so yeah, that's your one of your variants. So your 151 binder is going to get a little bit skewed out now. And, um, yeah, going to have to move forward by quite a few. And, you know, considering there's a, there's been a Charizard one, you'd probably think eventually you'll probably get like a Bulbasaur to Venusaur and a Blastoise one as well, right? Logic kind of dictates that that's going to happen. I kind of hope not. But let's get into opening these packs. All right, so just crack these open, just put these to the side. So we've got our, yep, we've got our Stellar Crown, we've got our Temporal Forces, we've got our Twilight Masquerade, Paradox, and Obsidian. So obviously we're going back up to Obsidian and not beyond it, so we miss out on Powderia Evolved, I do believe, unfortunately, which I still think is, um, well, it's not an underrated set anymore. But it was considered a very underrated set at the time, and I just didn't understand why people felt that way, and it made no sense to me whatsoever. So let's just uh, put these in their respective piles. Stella, Temple, Paradox, Obsidian, Twilight, Obsidian, Paradox, Twilight, Stella. So, at this point in time, um, you know, I'm going to leave the Twilight Masquerade ones to last. I'm just going to chuck him over there. Let's start in order. We'll start with Obsidian Flames. Again, it's Charizard's day, right? So, <sighs> for once, Charizard, you're going to get special treatment from me. For once. This is this is your day, okay? This is your day. You're, you can have your day. So, let's have a look here. We've got Wiglet, Spurvet. Haptoad, Zigzagoon, Probopass, just focus this up, there we go. Ventral, Skarmory, Bounce Sweet, Oinkalone, and Play Doll. So nothing in our first pack of Obsidian. Come on, let's see if we can let's see if we can pull a Charizard out of the Charizard box, right? You probably notice as well I'm using the uh, the mobile phone for the hand cam today because I'm a little bit all over the place and just trying to get a little like everything kind of all lined up and nice. So please stop unfocusing. It's still unfocusing. Probably unfocusing because I'm going up to the side there. There we go. That's better. Abusal, Swablu, and unfortunately no hits in the Obsidian, which is fine. So the next one after that would be Temporal. Yes, should, no, yeah, no, I can't remember, I think it's Paradox, I can't remember, alright, let's go, Cardboard Cane needs some Earthen Vessels, so for those people out there wondering, Earthen Vessels at the moment are going for insane prices at the moment, which is just insane, and I mean, when I say insane, they're almost up in excess of like, six bucks <laughs> for just a non-hollow. Which is crazy when you think about it. It's a trainer card, and it's like you know, it's it's like it's almost like the new battle VIP pass in terms of um, price range. Not to mention that the reverse holo versions are worth an absolute ton more. Like it's you can almost you can consider. Oh jeez, please focus. There we go. You can consider that the ah. Uh, uh, the reverse hollows are a hit, or just even the normals are hit. So, Dwebble, Toad School, and Iron Moth. So, unfortunately, no hits in our Paradox Rift. No Earthen Vessels. Let's get straight into Temporal Forces. Come on, where's the hits, Charizard, hey? Come on, it's your box. You know, it's, it's named after you. They gave you your spotlight. Start spinning them out, let's go. Shirafrig, Roselia, Vikavolt, Great Tusk, Salvatore, Swearance Guidance, Sandy Shocks, and Fluttermane. Jeez, three of those kind of cards. That's pretty cool. Alright, Temporal Forces, the second one. By this point as well, we've uh, already Master Set Stellar Crown. The Stellar Crown Master Set Guide is up already as well. 
So I'll be opening up Stellar Crown next with just like, you know, <laughs> it's already completed. We don't have to worry too much about it. Future booster, Metagross, Billiam, and hey, there we go. We've got a hit. And I should have some sleeves over here. I didn't expect to actually get a hit in this box. So let's check this in the old penny sleeve. Nice. There we go. One hit. Maybe more to follow. Stellar Crown. Let's go. Let's see if we can get a... If we pull a Squirtle out of this, that would kind of be fitting. Be kind of funny. But I almost feel as though there might be a, like a Venusaur and a Blastoise special collection coming out. We'll, we'll know soon enough. Once, uh, you know, some more of the Japanese stuff happens. Also, at the same time, I kind of feel like it probably won't happen. Alright, Medichan. Crabominable. And... Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Cinderace! Nice! We got another hit! So we've got a base Terror Cinderace. Not too shabby. So, two hits out of six packs, I think, so far. <laughs> Not too bad. Let's hope that the uh, the luck continues when the uh, Twilight Masquerade one crosses over because, as we all know, where Greninja, <laughs> where Greninja, still trying to find that guy, and everyone's having fun watching me just despair over it. There he's here under depths and Grim Snarl. All right, so no space turtle out of those, and now for the grand finale. <sighs> Come on, let's go. You know what? If I pull a Greninja out of this Charizard box, I will get a Ditto tattooed on this part of my hand here. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Whoops. Bad top. Slugma. Swirlix. Tadball. Darmantian. Carmine. Swanna. Eh? 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 Can't take off. <sighs> well, it's a hit. <laughs> it's a hit at least. At least there. This is uh, not a dead box at the very least. All right. Last pack magic. Greninja to finish the day on a amazing note. Maybe. You know, at this point, I'm just not even going to expect it. I'm not. I'm not going to ask for it. You know, if it happens, it happens. I'll eventually get it after I declare bankruptcy or something. All right, Heracross, Lampet, last pack. It is unfortunately nothing. Infernape. All right. So out of this, uh, out of this Charizard Super Premium Collection, I believe. I, for a while there, I thought it was like Special Premium Collection, but it's the Super Premium. We've pulled a Cinderace from Stellar Crown, we've pulled a Iron Leaves from Temporal Forces, and we've pulled a Caretaker from Twilight Masquerade. We've gotten our promos, our variants, and our gigantic Charizard Amiibo. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you enjoyed, the, I don't know, like, Charizard fans out there, are you happy? Are you guys going to keep these sealed? Or are you actually going to open this and actually display this thing? Or are you going to just display the box? I wouldn't be surprised if I start seeing, like, super premium collection custom acrylic boxes for these guys. You know, not for this, but for the entire box. Because I will have to admit, I will have to give it to you guys. It, the box does look good. Uh, it feels bad that I've opened it. But we've opened it. That's the whole point. Because I still need the cards inside. It's actually going to be hard to throw that box away. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next one.